This is the block that I machined yesterday. There are 40 bores. I used two different tools. This was the first set that I did only one finishing pass. And this is the set that I did a spring. I'm gonna show you the consistency. These holes are programmed to a 0.438 diameter. But because this is kind of a rough tool path on an end mill, you know, end mills make bad drills. Uh, it didn't come out exactly on size. Now that's easy to deal with in Fusion or your um, whatever cam you're using. You just adjust the size. So here, these are gauge pins. I have two pins right here. This is a 435. As you can see, does not fit at all. This is a 434. Fits everyone perfectly. And that's why I claimed within a thou on this toolpath, this part. That's really good, especially for, you know, not doing anything fancy. There you go, consistent. Now we're gonna check the part for the board depth accuracy. We're gonna use our nice little surface plate setup and our big Mitsutoyu magic height calculator thingamajig. <laughs> Let's zero off on this pin in the board. Do zero. I don't run this too much. Okay. Use this button for the air bearings. Move this out of the way. I don't want to move the part. So place the pin and the bore on the very end. Measure again. Two tenth, not even two tenths. That's a lot of zeros, look at that. Uh, yeah, that's almost perfect. That's awesome. Let's move it around. I know there's some in here that are probably not gonna be as good. Keep in mind, I didn't really clean this part super great. I didn't run a brush or anything in there. There might be a chip, but let's see what happens. Two tenths. Let's check this one. Six tenths. If that's not accurate enough for you guys, I don't know what is. Bore depth, good to go. For a final check, we'll be checking the bore pattern accuracy, basically the travel accuracy of the machine. So I place the part like this against the, uh, the block, put the pin in. We're gonna zero off of this. Okay. And in Fusion, these bores are 660 apart. So we're not gonna move any of this. We're gonna move the pin to the next location. And this should read 660. Let's see what happens. Two tenths off. That's beautiful. Let's do it again. So I'm now going to zero off again. Let's go up one. Measure this. Five tenths. Easily within a thou. Like I said before, that's awesome and beautiful and reassuring for a machine this price to have that kind of performance with nothing special. You know, as far as cam, I, I love it. Cannot wait to do some bigger projects for you guys. Let's make some chips.